Hey y'all, today I'm going to be replacing the rear speed sensor on my 03 Ram. Here's the rear speed sensor itself. It comes with a green O-ring there on the sensor to seal off your diff and a protective metal bracket on top as well as a electrical connector. Um, it's hit or miss whether or not this bracket and connector are actually going to work or we'll have to reuse the old one I have but we'll see. You would replace this if you had your uh, e-brake and ABS light on or issues with your speedometer or in my case the o-ring itself is not sealing very well and I've got uh, gear oil kind of uh, coating the top of the diff so I'm just going to uh, replace this. I got this for about 25 bucks on Amazon. I've also got some extra gear oil here just to lubricate the o-ring before I install. Uh, socket wrench set uh, I think 13 millimeter is our correct size so there is a single bolt on top which I have the socket on it's hard to see and then right here is your bracket and connector which goes back to here so this should be a pretty simple replacement however you want to be careful when removing this because you don't want to break the sensor in half and have half the sensor stuck in your diff. Okay, here I am uh, loosening this uh, nut slash bolt on top of the uh, diff. Takes a fair number of turns. What this is holding is the bracket for the speed sensor. It's holding the um, e-brake line, uh, brake lines looks like it goes to both rear brakes and uh, so wiring wiring harness so as I get this close to uh, being out I'm gonna clean up around here get some of the dirt away because I don't want any of that to fall on the diff I think it's out right now so I'll catch up with you here in a minute you can see where how I uh, back the bolt out there now I'm just going to get a lot of this. There's a lot of sand here. I do drive in the sand a bit. And I'm just going to work on this until it's relatively clean. I just don't want any of that sand in my rear diff. Okay, so this is loose here. That leaves just the speed sensor. And to remove it, you're just going to uh, kind of twist it off like so. I'm actually going to use two hands to be extra careful with this. Well, it's actually coming out right now. But I'm going to just going to eat. Okay. There it is. And if I'm seeing that right, yes, the O ring is kind of broke apart. It may have broken while I removed it, but it came out in one piece, which is probably the hardest part of this job is just making sure it comes out in one piece. All right, so I put a little gear oil on it. I'm gonna take it up top, and basically you're gonna twist it in. It's gonna set right down in there like that, and you're gonna twist it in. I'm definitely gonna do this one off camera because you want it to just, you really wanna make sure it gets a good seal. And boom, just like that, about a maybe three quarters of a turn and it just popped right into place. Perfect. Um, I am going to now place the bracket on top. Okay, let's see here. This is, uh, this is such a tough job to film, y'all. It's dark under here, it's close quarters, there's a lot of things in the way. And uh, this will just pop on top. In fact, I think we have it. So just like that, we've got that on. Now we're going to install the wiring harness. There's a couple tabs on it. The wiring harness connects right here. You'll have a larger style connector that goes in like that and then the other end simply goes right here. So I'll catch up with you all when I'm, when I'm to that point. But we're looking down the home stretch right now. Okay here we can see the wiring harness. It's actually the small side of the wiring harness goes into this connector. 
the large side goes right in the top here. And now you've just got to lift this bolt back inside this, which is holding all this stuff. And you're going to be tightening that bolt down onto the protective bracket. And that's it. You're be done after that. Take it out for a test drive and you should be good to go.